Hello and welcome to this first English webinar on the XSAT controller. My name is Fleming Jensen. I am placed in our export sales and I will support you and I will use the next 15 minutes or so going through the uh, benefits, the functions, the design and the mounting of this new XSense fireplace controller. On this first slide, you see the main parts of the product. We have to the le left, the gray box is the power unit, where the control unit is inside. And to the right, you see the small black box, which is the control panel, which will normally be in the hand of the customer. <clears throat> On this next slide, you see graphics of how the system will normally be set up. To the left, we have a picture of a standard installation. We have the fireplace and on top of the chimney we have a standard chimney fan. We have the power unit placed on the side of the chimney and just below the chimney fan we have a temperature sensor measuring the flue gas temperature. The panel is shown in the middle. That's the control panel for the customer. This will have a wireless communication with the power unit through a Gecko 868 MHz uh, communication channel and as a new feature we have possibility through a bluetooth connection in the control panel to connect to the customer's cell phone it could be an iphone or android system it doesn't matter and this will also be able to communicate to a cloud server that we are running with data of your fireplace to go a little bit deeper into the details of the product this is again the power unit we have on the side a protected switch that is a repair switch built-in repair switch the protection will keep uh, water and sun away and keep it tight for a longer period than we used to we have inside this placed a temperature sensor to measure the outdoor temperature and we also have an air pressure sensor that senses the atmospheric pressure outside the size of this box is 12 times 12 centimeters and it contains the new controller hardware. Everything looks like the model you know as EW41, but the inside of this box is totally new. This picture shows the panel of the Exodraft Xsense. You can see the measures here, it's quite small. You have on the top an on-off button and you have a capacitive touch display, which works exactly the same way as you use your smartphone. And also here we have a built-in temperature sensor for the indoor temperature. The picture you see here is the standard in the normal user picture. To the left you have lightning if you want to fire up your fireplace. In the middle we have a possibility of running ventilation, meaning that if you're not using the fireplace you can actually use chimney fan as a ventilation of your living room. And to the right you have a small weather station where you can actually see uh, temperature inside, outside, and also the atmospheric pressure outside. Please note that this is not a scientific weather station, but we use these measures for the uh, extra intelligence function that I will get back to within a couple of minutes. We have in this product also a built-in battery, and that is charged through a micro USB port as a standard and the battery lifetime is set to be around 30 days in normal use. If you want to use the Bluetooth connection and control everything from your cell phone, the lifetime will be shortened quite a bit. So we recommend you that you will put uh, this panel at charging at all times to make sure you don't run out of battery. If some of you are familiar with the EW41 model that has been on the market for quite some years now. This new Xsense has an optimized range. It's 50% uh, better. We are going from 12 meters to 18 meters of range in normal uh, building construction. The touch display that I just showed you is a smaller and much better panel. We have built in more opportunities for pairing the panel with the power unit meaning that you as a distributor or an installer can actually pair 
the power unit and the panel in your office before installing at customer site using the pin code which is placed inside the box when you buy the product. We also have possibility if pin code is lost, there is a small connect button inside the power unit, touch this and you will have two minutes where it's possible to pair the two parts or if it's not easy or if not accessible to go directly to the power unit, the same function can be obtained by cutting off the power for the for the panel, or oh, sorry, for the unit. And then when reconnecting the power, you will again have two minutes to connect the panel. We have a better signal test. This will help you when finding out if you have any obst obstructions in, in the construction so that you cannot use the panel directly at the fireplace. If that's the case, we have possibility to mount a repeater in between. If your distance is more than 18 meters or if you have something in the layers of the building uh, blocking the signal, it's possible to place a small repeater. The repeater looks exactly the same way as the panel, small black box. Of course, there's no touch panel on this one. A new feature also built into the system now is the Exotelligence. It is a software that we have made to help the customer remaining a perfect flame picture uh, in different conditions. We also have, as mentioned earlier, an app control and data locking. It means that if the customer wants to use a cell phone for controlling the fireplace uh, and the fan, then it's possible simply to put the panel away, set in charging and make sure it's always a full battery. And then you can run everything from your cell phone. It's also possible to store every data is stored in a cloud server and you will have possibilities to check how many running hours, how many firings you had, etc. And you can see different data on that if you want to. It is also possible for this product to run as pressure controlled and I'll just go through that. Pressure control can be obtained by buying this wireless XTP sensor. Uh, please note that this is not part of the standard system. It is a choice that you can make and you can buy this as an extra part. The wireless XTP sensor is also made in exact same design, same size. It's the same black cabinet and this page you can see also you have two nozzles, positive and negative pressure nozzles. And this will be mounted on site of the chimney with a small probe into the chimney channel. Set point is set in, in the panel. The XTP sensor and the pressure control is mainly to use in guillotine stoves where they are running closed for some part of the time and partly or fully open. This will give a big change in the conditions for the fan and by using the XTP sensor the fan will automatically obtain the set pressure value, meaning that it will run a very low speed when the fireplace is closed and when you start opening the lid it will automatically speed up and keep the set pressure. This is also a benefit if you have open fireplaces in restaurants, hotel lobbies or something like this where the condition changes a lot over a firing period. This is schematic how the system will run if you do use the pressure control. When the controller starts up it always starts at a boost function like previous models. The boost function is that this controller will start up at 100% full speed for a period of time. Factory setting is 10 minutes. Both parameters can in this product be set and customized as you want it. When boosting function is over, time has run out, it will automatically change into the pressurized uh, control operation and it will measure the actual pressure in the chimney compared to the set point and adjust from that. At this uh, product, as I mentioned, you can set parameters. All parameters are open for the customer, so you can set exactly how you want 
it comes to the boosting function, boosting period, boosting level. You can set starting temperature, stop temperature, post perch uh, period. Everything can be customized to fit exactly the fireplace of your customer. As I have mentioned earlier, there is an app, Xsense app that you can download. The app provides you with uh, some different opportunities. First of all, the customer can choose to control the fan and the fireplace directly from the cell phone. You have the same features put into the, uh, the app that you have on the panel. You can al also use the cell phone to enter the historic data. Those data will not be transferred into the panel. It's only available for the app. And another issue is that the app will also be the gate when we release new software with versions for this product. Uh, you will have an updated app and as soon as you enter the app it will ask you if you want to update your panel and power control and everything will run if you say yes it will run automatically so your cell phone will update first the panel it takes only a few minutes and afterwards the panel will start communicating directly with the power unit and if we have a, a large update it this can last up to 30 minutes in this period, it's not possible to use the fireplace because the panel and the power unit will be communicating, updating the power unit. But this will secure that you will always have the latest model of software. Now I will show you a small video of the functions in this product. Welcome to this brief Xens demonstration. To activate your Xens, press the button on top of the unit. Connect your power unit by selecting Add Device from the main menu. Select the power unit from the list and confirm your selection. Enter the four-digit PIN code found on the back of your PIN code card, included with your Xens. If your power unit does not show up in the list, you can add it manually by pressing the plus sign and entering the power unit's alphanumeric device ID. This device ID can be found on the power unit itself. Once your Xsense and the power unit are connected, the lighting function will be available from the main menu. Thank you for watching this brief Xsense demonstration. This is how the box looks and what is inside it when you buy the Xsense product. This is a single part number and you will have the complete Xsense. The box which we open here contains, as you can see, the black box to the left, that's the panel. I'll get back to that later. And you have on the corner the gray box which is the actual power unit. It is standard mounted with a 5 meter rubber core so that you can actually plug this in, test all system, everything, all functions at customer site before you do a complete installation. You see we have a temperature sensor on the top. This is placed beneath the uh, fan and we have everything needed for that in the box as well. As you see the small plastic bags on the upper left corner and right in the middle you have the small card which is the card that contains the pin code please note that the customer will have to use this pin code when setting up the system we also have manuals in different languages looking into the little black box the black box is made in a fan more fancy design than than the white carbon box this one goes into the hands of the customer. We have worked a bit harder on the details for this product. So it feels nice when the customer gets this in hand. You have the panel. You also see just below the lid, we have a small bracket. That's because the panel is magnetic on the back side. So you can mount the small bracket on the wall. 
and you will always be able to find your panel because you normally place it there. It can also be placed in all other metallic surfaces. Please note it's not allowed to mount it on the side of your stove due to the heat. Also inside the small box you have a quick guide in different languages that helps the customer to set up the system or lead them into one of our web pages to get more information. And finally here you see a link to our YouTube channel where you also can find information. We are ready in the office at export sales mail or telephone if you have any questions for this product or for any other exodraft product please contact us you can also find helpful information in our web pages you can go to exodraft.com and you will find different languages different countries you can choose and you will get into web page from exodraft in your own language and you can find all information about our products, all manuals, and also we have a library of videos telling you how to use our products. Thank you for listening. We will be back soon.